Okay, here we go. This is the front of the bell of the same transmission, part two. After removing the retaining cover, then it's protecting the bearing, avoiding the oil coming out, and having a seal on this position, and relocating the bolts to don't loosen it. It's time to remove the snap ring, then it's holding the bearing. The snap ring is located on the outside race of this bearing. And there is a secondary snap ring, you may see it, here. Then it's holding the shaft into the bearing. That's a different story. Removing this snap ring is kind of tricky. Why? If you look here at the clearance within between these two bearings, if you open and try to split the snap ring, example here, it will be bigger and it's not gonna clear the bearing. So you are not able to take it out because it's gonna interfere with the bearing. So what you gotta do, you have to take the opening from your snap ring, driving it, sorry for that, driving it exactly with, between the two, so the opening will be located here. And then you can fit your tools, open the snap ring and pop it out. You don't have to pop it on both sides, you can just open one side and slide it off. But you must locate the opening of your snap ring within these two bearings, or it's not gonna come in out. I mean, you can take it out, but then you have to replace it because you're gonna break it. Okay, everyone recognize this portion of the transmission. So let's move uh, uh, forward. Let me see if I can the snap ring for you. Uh, this is how the snap ring looks like. It's in a good shape, it's in a bag. You see this opening right here? This is what I'm talking about. This opening has to be there. And then you open it and slide it out. Otherwise it's not coming in. Okay? Thank you.